if Star Trek Android Mark Zuckerberg hasn't quite finished infiltrating your every waking thought with Facebook yet, and so he's teamed up with Amazon, the only company that knows more about you than your mom to produce this sexy white Inception Square. The new Inception Square from Facebook provides a brand new way to become entirely dependent on a social media giant owned by data from Star Trek, whilst simultaneously becoming incepted with political ideals that you didn't know you cared about. Facebook, putting you in touch with the dregs of society that you went to school with since 2004. Facebook's portal has got she that should not be named built into it, but they've also got their own hoity-toity artificial intelligence fairy built in too. You can say things like, hey portal. <laughs> what voice is hey, portal. That? With two annoying ignorant cowbags in one device, plus a better screen and a nicer camera, have Facebook defeated Amazon in the smart speaker market? I just needed more yachts. This video will compare every facet of the Facebook portal to the Amazon Echo Show to Google's Nest Hut. Google's Hub, Mac, Google's Max Hub, Go We are Google, but we have bought Nest. No, wait, we are Nest. No, wait, our products are called Nest. Whatever it is Google are calling their speaker this week. Google and Amazon looked at the marketplace and said to themselves, we'll round off the corners so that we don't put anybody's eyes out. And Mark Zuckerberg looked at the marketplace and said, look, make it pointy. And you know what? He was right. I actually prefer the look of this thing to both the Amazon and the Google offerings. I think that this will blend in better to almost everybody's house than the other two speakers do. Where Facebook and Amazon have got sweatshops filled with little old ladies knitting tiny bizarre sweaters for their speakers, Facebook have gone for a much cleaner, sleeker, sharper, pointier look. And I prefer it. Facebook win this round. Music isn't the main goal of these speakers, and there are other products on the market for that. But most of us are going to still have a little boogie in our kitchen now and then, and therefore it would be good if these products didn't suck. Unfortunately, Facebook have put their speaker on the back. Fly me to the moon and let me see. I get paid to do this. This is my job now. And Google have put the speaker on the bottom. If you're waiting for me to sing out of my arse, I'm not that talented. Both the Facebook and the Google speakers suffer with the same problem. Because the speakers aren't facing directly at you, they don't reproduce music in the same way. The Echo Show 8 isn't something that I actually own, so I can't tell you what that sounds like. But even the Echo Show 5 beats the Google and the Facebook speakers. Because Amazon have cleverly pointed the speakers at this little grill on the front so that you get a better sound reproduction by the time it hits your ears. If you're more interested in a little bit of warmth and bass and tonal clarity, then you're going to want to go with one of the Echo Shows. It's worth noting, of course, that all three speakers can be Bluetoothed to an external set of speakers, but Amazon is the only one that has an audio output jack. Therefore, Amazon wins this round on all fronts. And now, a word from our sponsor. You, yes you, with a misshapen head. With that face, you look like you'd be right at home in a fantasy land of orcs and elves. But what if I told you there was a way to rub shoulders with people that don't look like a dried roasted peanut? Right now in your pocket, there is a glowing doodad that would let you pretend that you aren't a hopeless sad case. And you are in fact a badass champion ready to take on a hive of scum and villainy. Take that, Montgomery. There is a link in the description so that you can play your make-believe games on a small magic doodad or a large magic doodad. Either way, you can finally shed that feeling that you're a middle-aged tubby loser. In the walled kingdom of Arabia, there is a group of high elves who all just happen to be terribly good-looking for some reason. And they are the heroes of this fantastical tale. The queen is a powerful sorceress, and they've been fighting evil since the dawn of civilization. The pretend civilization, the one in your magic whiz bang. The problem is, those cheeky elves' allegiances aren't quite what they seem. And to find out more, you'll have to play the game. 
Elaine and Lissandra are my favorite champions, and it has nothing to do with the fact that they're sexy, sexy ladies. There's nothing that I enjoy more than giving some bounder a jolly good thrashing before heading off to the tavern to upgrade my champion. I will destroy you because you are an utter bounder and a cad. Last month, Raid released their biggest ever update. Doom Tower is a giant 120 floors of secret challenge rooms and 12 seriously badass bosses. I can't wait to show them some damn shamaning. Shamaning? Shaman? She's a shaman! To get a huge head start in Raid, just click the link in the description now, and if you're a new player, you'll get an XP booster, some energy refills, an ancient shard, a free void champion called Bulwark, and 50 gems! This is Bulwark. He's some kind of angry battle santa. All this treasure is waiting for you right here for the next 30 days. You can find me in-game under the glorious username of Balthasar Destroyer of Worlds. And if you're quick about it, you can join my clan. Although the Google speaker is better than Amazon at answering questions, Google is much worse at mishearing practically everything I say, especially, unfortunately, the word off. We'll turn the air purifier off. On? No, it's already on. Turn it off. On? No, off. On. No, off! Turn the f***ing air purifier f***ing off! You f***ing Off! 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 On? The Facebook AI is just plain wrong. They've gone with Hey Portal as their wake word. And I'm not concerned if I've just woken up your portal, because it'll ignore me anyway. The hoity-toity little cow is the most ignorant device I have ever come into contact with. Hey portal, how long is a piece of string? Ooh, you hoity-toity cowbag. The Facebook AI is as posh as it is demented. It sounds like my missus doing an impression of the Queen. I don't know where they got this voice from. Probably not my missus, but it really does sound like somebody taking the <laughs> Facebook have thankfully implemented she that should not be named so that you can use that artificial assistant instead. It works great for things like your smart home equipment, but unfortunately they haven't rerouted her properly for things like photos and Spotify. If you ask her to play music on Spotify, she'll go and look for Spotify on an imaginary play store that doesn't exist, because Facebook have used some butchered version of Android OS as the basis for their platform, and it's been butchered to suck balls. And suck balls it does. All of the balls. There is no Netflix, there is no Amazon Prime Video, there is no YouTube app. All of these apps are missing. I'm getting ahead of myself. We'll talk more about how pathetic its app store is. But there isn't an app store. We'll talk more about how pathetic it is shortly. Let me just finish talking about whatever it was I was talking about. Ah yes, the voice assistant. It's garbage. If you use Amazon's assistant to try and load the photos up, she won't find any because she's looking for Amazon photos and she'll say, Amazon photos is not supported on this device. If you ask the portal to load photos, that just sits there, contemplating its own stupidity. Although Google is better at answering questions, Amazon hears me every single time and does what I want it to do. Amazon wins this round. I have literally never used my Echo or my Google Nest Hub to place a video call. And that's because I don't know a single person that uses Google Duo, Zoom, or Skype. Everyone I know uses WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger, and I know this is a personal preference thing, but for me personally, that's why the Facebook portal wins this round. On top of this, the Facebook portal has better screen resolution, a much, much more powerful camera, and it follows your face around the room, which is totally not creepy. It's a little bit creepy. Amazon will soon be releasing their Echo Show 10, which has an exorcist head. The winner for this round is Facebook. The Amazon Echo Show has Amazon Prime Video and Netflix. The Google Nest Hub has YouTube and Netflix. The Facebook portal has nothing. 
This is like if Luke Skywalker was doing the trench run at the Death Star and... I've done this joke before. I'm doing it again anyway, because I love it. And so he's going down towards the trench run and he thinks, oh, I'm gonna do... Nah, I'm gonna go home. Forget it. I'm off. I'm going home. Use the force, Luke. <laughs> this. <laughs> this. Facebook, you failed at the last minute. Everything up until this point have been little niggles that you can kind of get around and it doesn't matter, but if I can't watch Netflix, I'm not putting this in my kitchen. I'm not putting it anywhere. Unfortunately, Google's implementation of Netflix and YouTube both suck donkey balls through a straw. Um, seriously, if I want to load up Netflix, I want to see the things that I was watching most recently. I don't want to be presented with the things that Netflix are trying to ram down my throat this week. I fully appreciate that I can ask Google to start playing the thing that I was watching most recently, if I could remember what it was, but sadly, I'm nearing 40. And when I'm not applying face cream in floods of tears, I'm forgetting what I was doing 10 minutes ago. Amazon lacks the ability to search YouTube through voice, but the implementation of Netflix is much better, and you can punch things into YouTube manually. Therefore, I think Amazon win this round. Just a few final points of note then, and the first one is that the Google Nest Hub is GARBAGE! Don't buy it! It's got so much going for it from a conceptual point of view, but unfortunately they've implemented it so poorly that it just takes ages to swipe on things, it takes a while for her to process what you've said, and that's if she hears what you said properly in the first place, which she never does. On. No, off! On this basis alone, I can't recommend the thing. And the final point of note is that each of these devices are tied to their individual photo platforms, except for Google. Google have implemented it in such a way that you can either use Google Photos, which of course, if you've got an Android phone, that's where all your photos are stored, or you can use Facebook Photos, or you can use Flickr. The others are sadly tied to their platforms, and I don't upload photos to Facebook or to Amazon. This sucks for me because I think Google is my least favorite speaker, but that's where all my photos are, and that's why I still have one. And so the Facebook portal would actually be my clear winner if it wasn't for the fact that I'm so heavily reliant on Netflix, and I don't want to have to use two different voice assistants if I want to load up my smart home stuff or control Spotify. In my opinion, Amazon is still the most complete solution. I only used to hate the Echo Show because, well, I can't play Friends on Netflix. Here's Friends. <gasps> what is that? Fifth. Oh, stop it. <laughs> I hate the Echo Show so much. But now they've solved the Netflix solution, it's just a case of them resolving the whole YouTube thing and preferably getting Google Photos. That's not gonna happen. If they could get Google Photos into this thing, there would be absolutely no reason, in my opinion, to buy another speaker. That is my final thoughts. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. That would tell YouTube's algorithms it was a good video and more people should see it. If you wanna see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, it lets YouTube know that you want to be notified when I upload videos. These amazing people here are my patrons from Patreon, and without them, this channel wouldn't still exist. If you want to be one of those guys, you can do that at either Patreon, or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal, and either way, I'll love you forever. These are my social medias, my Facebooks, my Twitters, and my Instagrams. Come and hang out there, and we can be best friends. See you next time. <laughs> Facebook? I just needed you more. <laughs> Google's ability to browse both Netflix and YouTube sucks donkey's balls because you. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> I always felt my chair. That wasn't even pretend. For off and off for on. I'm lost as I'm doing.